Hello everyone, I'm Tristan, and today we're going to look at two extremely difficult TOEIC slash English questions, and I'm going to show you how to get the answer. So let's get started with the first question. Pause your screen if you need time. Now, like most TOEIC questions, it's always good, it's always smart to simplify the question. So, we see this statement here. If we simplify it, we could change it to the process has been harder than people blank thought, but executives still feel good about it. So that is the same message as above, but we've been able to simplify and focus just on the grammar. Okay, so we can see that an adverb is appropriate here. Therefore, we can start with the process of elimination. First remove start. Why? Why? This is not an adverb. We need an adverb before thought. It does not describe a verb if we use start. It is a verb or a noun, but we need an adverb. Then next remove C, initial. Initial is an adjective. Let's look at an example. Now, first initial means the original or first in a series of events. Plan one was not suitable, but plan two was. The initial plan was not suitable. Notice it is an adjective. The initial plan, the first plan was not suitable, but the second plan worked well. Or the movie's initial release did not receive much attention, but when it was released a year later, it was a big success. The adverb for initial is initially. For example, when I moved to Japan, I initially lived in Nagoya. So my initial city was Nagoya. I initially lived in Nagoya, but soon moved to Kobe. So if you had initially thought, that would be correct. But initial is just an adjective. So now we have the final two, first and firstly. This is where you're going to hate me. If you chose firstly, this was a smart choice. However, it is not correct. Firstly is used to introduce a first point or reason. It is often at the start of a sentence. For example, it's a bad idea. Firstly, it's too expensive. Secondly, the quality is poor. So I am giving reasons. I am making points. I am not talking about an order of events in time. But you can use first in many more situations. First can give reasons, can make points, but also talk about order of events in time. Firstly, does not talk about order of events. For example, what did you do yesterday? I firstly went to the beach. Secondly, this is incorrect in this order of events. It is much better to say, first I went to the beach or I first went to the beach. So first can be used as an adjective or adverb. Now one key tip, if you have to choose between firstly and first, always choose first because firstly sometimes means first, but first always means firstly. So if you are unsure, pick first. Here's one last example. I first didn't understand how firstly worked, but now I do. Okay. So the answer is first. Let's look at 112. Pause your screen if you need time. Once again, simplify. So instead of having all these unnecessary words, let's put it in the simplest terms. The number of students declined blank last year. This is describing how it declined. So we need an adverb. Let's remove the adjective substantial. Substantial is an adjective. For example, 
there was a substantial increase in the price. Increase here is a noun. But if I say the price increased substantial, this would be wrong because increase here is a verb, so I need an adverb, ly. So if you had substantially, it would be correct. But d substantial is just an adjective. Next, let's eliminate extremely. Extremely is an adverb, but it only describes adjectives. It does not describe verbs. What does this mean? Well, extremely is like very. When you use very, you are just describing the adjective. For example, he is very tall or it is very difficult. This is the same with extremely. He is extremely tall. It is extremely difficult. But these words do not describe verbs. If I say the price dropped extremely, that is the same as saying the price very dropped. It is not correct. So extremely does not describe verbs, so remove A. So now we have B and C. Well, we can eliminate B, orderly. Orderly looks like an adverb because it ends with ly. But orderly is one of those words that ends with ly but is not an adverb. It is actually an adjective. So if I do something in an orderly way, notice orderly describes way. But I do not say he works orderly because orderly is not an adverb. It breaks the rule. It is similar to the word friendly. Friendly looks like an adverb, but it's actually an adjective. And there are about 20 of these um, that you can look up. So the answer is steeply. And steeply means significantly, sharply, dramatically. You could use the adjective and say, there was a steep decline in the number of students, or the number declined steeply, which means a lot, significantly. So the answer is C. So today's lesson really focused on exceptions, words that didn't follow the rules. So as you know, most adverbs end with LY. Most LY words are adverbs, but today we found some exceptions. Okay, everyone, hopefully you learned something. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.